must obey our parents. Ephesians 6 verse 1 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Deuteronomy 5.16 says, Honor your father and your mother, as the Lord your God has commanded you so, that your days may be long, and that it may go well in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. God had said to Abraham, Take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moron and offer him there for a burnt offering upon the mount which I will tell thee of. Genesis 22 verse 2 Abraham obeyed God and sent out with two of his servants and Isaac went with them. On the third day of their journey, Abraham saw the place afar off and told his servants to wait behind. And he will go up to the mountain and worship God with his son Isaac. Abraham then laid the wood for the offering on Isaac, while Abraham held the fire and the knife. Genesis 22, verse 4 to 6. The drama about Isaac started when he became curious and said to his father, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the good offering? And Abraham said to him, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Genesis 22, verse 7. 8. Isaac believed his papa with pure, innocent, childlike faith and went along with him. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Genesis 22 verse 9 to 10. At this point, the whole event took a new turn. With this happening, it became obvious to Isaac that he was the lamb for the sacrifice. God has said to us that he, that the first he brings towards us is the thought of peace and not of evil. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. 1 John 55 verse 53 Abraham had cared for Isaac right from his birth with so much tenderly love. Isaac knew it and believed that the thought of his father about him could never be evil. So he believes his father and continues to follow and obey him with pure childlike faith and, and love, for it shall be well with us. Ephesians 5 verse 1 to 2 Wow! Isaac obeyed his father and was willing to be a sacrifice. I sometimes find it difficult to obey my parents. I never had to do something like Isaac was asked to do. Pick my Legos off the floor, wash my hands with soap, and write my Bible verses are just a few things I have to do. Now I see these rules are for my own good, even though I find them hard to do. I must obey my parents because they love me and want what is best for me. Children, let us obey our parents. There is a blessing of a long, prosperous life if we do so. I want to be more.